Boy, I would have loved to have seen the political ads running for the election to vote on pre-crime. Minority Report, released in 2022 and is directed by Steven Spielberg, who is one of the greatest directors to ever lived and has created such films like Jaws, Raiders of the Lost Ark, E.T., Close Encounters of the Third Kind, and Ready Player One. And this movie is starring Tom Cruise, Colin Farrell, Samantha Morton, and Max von Sydow. And the reason why we're talking about Minority Report today is because it was a PayPal recommendation and donation from one of my longtime contributors and supporters supporters on this channel who has given me quite a few great films as of late and that is Dr. Camp. Thank you very much for this recommendation. This is one of those movies that I wish I would have saw in theaters at the time. I think I caught this like a couple years after it was released like maybe in 2004 but I remember thinking it was so badass and so cool at the time and I'm pretty sure what this film is known for the most is the technology used in the movie a lot of things that we're using nowadays. The technology here has definitely held up. Washington, D.C. has implemented a prototype crime force called Pre-Crime, where they use the help of three precogs to help see into the near future of crimes that will be committed so that the task force gets there in time to prevent the murders. And everything seems to be going swimmingly as there hasn't been a murder in Washington, D.C. in several years, until one day when the Pre-Crime commanding officer, Chief John Anderton, played by Tom Cruise, ends up being predicted as a future murderer for a crime that is happening in the next couple of days. So now Anderton goes on the run, trying to outwit the pre-crime task force, while also trying to prove his future innocence. What a philosophical movie this is. This whole concept of pre-crime is based on an idea of that the crime is more than likely, most certainly, going to happen. So to prevent that crime from ever happening, we just go ahead and arrest the person that's gonna end up doing the murder anyway. That sounds very good in theory, but then there's also something in this country that we've established a long time ago, in that you are innocent until proven guilty. And if you haven't technically done the thing, how can you be convicted of a crime? This is why I was saying in the intro, I would love to hear the political advertisements and the debates that were going around in the District of Columbia in Washington, D.C. for them to pass this frickin' thing. On one end, hey, we haven't had a murder in this town for several years, which is cool, but you also have people that have been locked up for technically not doing anything, therefore how can we convict them if they have literally not done the thing? Only a couple of precogs, people that supposedly see into the future, said that they were going to do it. How did we give these three people the jurisdiction to be like, okay, whatever you say, we'll go off of that. Well, I guess I'm also describing our public court system and like the Supreme Courts. I mean, they're not appointed and they're not voted for by their peers. They are appointed by whoever's president at the time, so... I guess that all makes sense. This country is pretty fucked up. But it's a great sci-fi, thriller, suspense, murder mystery, film noir movie. And this is Tom Cruise staying in the limelight, staying in the spotlight, keeping himself relevant. And I don't know how he's done that. Over the multiple decades that he has been a top action star, a top movie star, this is one of the films that just keeps him on the map. Of course, no one runs like Tom Cruise in movies. I mean, he's the only one who could run like that. Even his stump double doesn't run like him. Of course, he doesn't have a stunt double. He does his old shit. But Tom Cruise is great here, especially when you put him in a role where he has some type of family ties. When he, whenever he gets his teeth sunk into his kids or someone that he loves, he's just going to go all out for him. And he's going to have those moments in the movie where he just breaks down. His son, we relive him losing him at a public pool and just hearing the heartbreak. Putting yourself in that shoes of being a parent and just turning away for a couple of seconds and then looking back and your kid is not there and you're looking around, no one saw anyone take him, you just feel incredibly lost. And seeing Tom Cruise go through that in this movie at those moments, it's it's heartbreaking, it's scary. And I love the dilemma that this character is in. This character has been with pre-crime since the beginning and he believes in this system, he believes in what they are doing is right, but now his name is on one of those red balls. He is going to be a murderer 
supposedly, in the future. It's a system that he definitely believes in, but he's also supposedly going to murder someone that he has never met before in his life. So there's a constant dilemma that you see with this guy, and it just adds the extra layers to this movie and its enjoyment. It's great. There are several moments in here that are that stereotypical action moment that you would definitely put in a trailer. When he's wanting to go up to the hotel room and the guy at the front desk is giving him grief, he just kind of spins his gun on the desk and says, <laughs> how about now? That's going to be in the trailer. Of course it is. The moment when he's in the car and it's being assembled and it gets painted on and then he looks up and he takes off, that's another trailer moment right there. And this was one of the movies that put Colin Farrell in the limelight for all of us to recognize, hey, this guy is pretty damn good. He's also a good looking guy on screen, but the fella can act. He can carry himself with Tom Cruise. I like him. Let's see more of him. But like I said earlier, what this film is really known for is how advanced its technology was and how accurate its technology was when crafting this movie. I know Spielberg said he spoke to many high-end technicians and engineers at the time, and they were talking about the things that they were getting ready to launch to the public that everyone was going to start doing. So touch screens, the way that we were swiping images and videos on a screen at a whim. All of that is stuff that we have now, didn't have back in 2002. The facial recognition, even though we don't have like the eyeball scanning, we have the facial recognition now, but very similar technologies. It's just a great thriller, and it's a really smart movie too. It's really going for that film noir feel of it being black and white, even though this film is not in black and white. There is a ton of hard lighting in here to give the effect that even though, yes, we see shirt colors, we see skin colors, because of all of this hard light and lens flares that we keep getting in every scene, it feels like it's a black and white movie. Black and white also representing the idea behind pre-crime. There's no shades of gray. Either you were going to commit the crime and we're going to arrest you, or you weren't and then you're scot-free. You can carry on with your everyday life. The only aspects of this movie that take it out of it are really just those action one-liner lines that they put in here for Tom Cruise. Heck, not even Tom Cruise. Just every character in here. I feel like everyone has their own like trailer action line moment that could potentially be in the trailer for this movie. Other than that, this film is a great thriller, and I definitely recommend everyone checking this out once eventually. I'm gonna give Minority Report four and a half out of five Blu-rays. It's good. It's good. It's good. So guys, if you've seen Minority Report, what did you think about it? Or if you've never seen it before and you stumbled across because of this video, then comment below, let me know what you thought about it. And as always, if you like what you see here, if you like my take on movies, then hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell so you know the next time I'm released next movie review. So guys, I will see you next time on the channel, but in the meantime, be well, be good to each other, and go watch a movie. Take care, guys.